In this video, I will be teaching you five essential mini ramp tricks for intermediate skateboarders. Let's get into it. The first essential trick I'm gonna be teaching you is disaster, both backside and frontside. Let's get into it. Just before your wheels are about to hit the coping, you wanna use your back wheels and twist your shoulders really quickly as if you're gonna back 180 out of the ramp. As you're swinging your shoulders, you also wanna have your eyes on the coping, seeing where your deck is gonna land, which is dead in the middle of the coping. All the motion is in your back leg, doing a really fast back 180 power slide and landing on top of the coping, then obviously rocking back into the ramp. My personal tip is going with less speed than you anticipate. This allows you to land on the coping, but your body weight is leaning into the quarter pipe, not on top of the ramp, which most people struggle with when trying this trick. All right, trick number two is fakie smith stall. And listen to me when I say this, it's all in your back foot. Trust me, your back foot. My biggest tip for this stall is timing because a lot of people tend to miss the smith stall and go into disaster. To prevent this from happening is obviously trying over and over again, or you could have your eyes on the coping when approaching at fakie. Just before your tail is in line with the coping, turn your shoulders just a little under 90 degrees. This will allow your back truck to lock on. As soon as your back truck locks in, lean all in your back leg, like literally. You only know how much to lean back the more you try, but you know what I mean. Now it's time to hold the store. Dip your front truck into front smith, then gently lift up your front truck and then pivot off your back truck and bring your board back into the transition. Or you could just lean forward and let your board figure it out when going to the ramp. All right, the third essential for your mini ramp skateboarding is front side 50-50 grind. What I recommend the most is learning cross lock front 50s. They're super stylish. Once you get the hang of it at the start, you'll have them all the way through your skateboarding. And here's exactly how the front side 50-50. So obviously at the start, you won't be able to cross lock. So locking in on top of the ramp is recommended. Approach the coping on a 45 degree angle with speed. Approach the grind with open shoulders that start to turn as your front truck is about to hit the coping. Lift up, lock in with your back truck, then smoothly place down your front truck and keep an even balance between on top and inside the ramp. Preferably balance just into the ramp on the coping Grind it out, then lift that front truck up and turn your shoulders back into the transition. For a cross lock, it is just placing your front truck further into the ramp. It's hard to explain exactly how, but you want your top right wheel to be rolling along with the coping. When you're trying this front 50, definitely just aim for cross lock at all times. Trick number four on this list is backside 5-0 grind. And let me tell you, this trick is so good for when you're doing lines and setting up for a new trick on the wall. Approach the grind on a 45 degree angle with speed. Lift up your front truck and just as you lock into the coping, lean all the way back on your tail. You want your bottom left wheel to lock in with the coping, which allows you to fully grind out the 5-0. You definitely want to be leaning into the quarter pipe because if you're not, your whole truck is going to lock onto the coping and you'll lose all your speed. So stay within the transition. When you want to come back into the ramp, turn your shoulders towards the transition and smoothly pivot back in. And the fifth and final trick I will be teaching you guys as part of this tutorial is no stall revert. Now hear me out. I actually think this is a useful trick for intermediate skateboarders. It's perfect to throw in a line and just like do as a single trick on a quarter pipe, let's say when you're rolling around the skate park. I wouldn't put this trick in if it wasn't easy for you guys. I genuinely think it's all in your shoulders and the more you twist your shoulders and commit to the trick, the more likelihood you're going to have from rolling away from this trick. Let's get into it. As you approach the coping, put all your weight onto your nose. As soon as you land in this nose stall, open those shoulders really wide and turn your head so you can see exactly where you're going to land. As you're coming back into the ramp, swing your shoulders so much, like absolutely swing your shoulders, which lets your nose of your board do a 180 power slide back into the ramp. When you're coming back in, don't lean too far forward, only until your nose is nearly straight going into the transition. Then lean back and even out your balance. I'm sure this explanation sounds very complicated, but trust me, go to a small quarter pipe and swing those shoulders a ton and you'll all of a sudden roll away from it. I've seen it firsthand, don't worry. 
All right, and that wraps up the video for five essential tricks on a mini ramp for intermediate skateboarders. And just before I actually finish this video, I'm going to chuck all five of those tricks into a line. But most of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for 800 subscribers. And I'll see you in the next video. videos every Friday. I'll see you then. Peace. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Alright, we cool. Alright, let's get this cheeky little transition ready.